prove that 1 plus sec a whole divided by sec a is equal to sin square a upon 1 minus cos a. Let us consider left hand side. The left hand side is 1 plus sec a whole divided by sec a. We know that sec theta is reciprocal of cos theta. So sec theta can be written as 1 upon cos theta. So using this identity, we can write left hand side 1 plus sec a whole divided by sec a as 1 plus 1 upon cos a whole divided by 1 upon cos a. Look at the numerator. It is in the form 1 plus 1 upon x, where x stands for cos a. 1 plus 1 upon x can be written as x plus 1 divided by x. So the numerator 1 plus 1 upon cos a can be written as cos a plus 1 divided by cos a. So this is the numerator. Denominator remains as it is. It is 1 upon cos a. Now this is a fraction in which numerator and denominators both are fractions. So it is like a upon b whole divided by c upon d. So it will be simplified as numerator will remain as it is a upon b and this numerator will be multiplied to the reciprocal of the denominator. The denominator is c upon d. So reciprocal of denominator is d upon c. So a upon b the numerator will be multiplied to the reciprocal of the denominator that is d upon c. The same thing will happen here. The numerator will remain as it is cos a plus 1 divided by cos a. It is the numerator and this numerator will be multiplied to the de reciprocal of the denominator which is cos a upon 1. These two terms will be cancelled. So we will get left hand side as 1 plus cos a. Now consider right hand side. Right hand side is sin square a divided by 1 minus cos a. So right hand side is sin square a divided by 1 minus cos a. We know that sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. So we can write sin square a as 1 minus cos square a and the denominator is as it is. It is 1 minus cos a. The numerator is 1 minus cos square a. You can write it as 1 square minus cos square a. Denominator is as it is. Look at the numerator. It is of the form x square minus y square where x stands for 1 and y stands for cos of a x square minus y square is equal to x minus y whole multiplied by x plus y. So using this identity, 1 square minus cos square a, the numerator can be written as 1 minus cos a whole multiplied by 1 plus cos a. And in the denominator, you have 1 minus cos a. 1 minus cos a and 1 minus cos a. They are cancelled. The result is 1 plus cos a. So you see that the left hand side is equal to 1 plus cos a. Right hand side is also equal to 1 plus cos a. So you can say that left hand side is equal to right hand side which is 1 plus cos a.